Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your February 2017 general readings. Remember that these are general readings. There's many of you watching, so of course they're not going to mean the same thing for everyone to the same degree. So if you know your rising and your moon sign, check those videos as well. You may find that they resonate for you a little more predictively this month, or that they just give you additional bits of insight and clarity on what's going on in your life over February 2017. Thank you for continuing to watch and listen and follow my YouTube channel for all your support and feedback and welcome to any uh, newcomers today and thank you for subscribing for those of you who choose to do so. Uh, thank you to those of you who also continue to reach out for personal one-on-one -on -one readings and to my regular clients as well. It's always an honor and a pleasure to do personal readings and uh, I'm grateful for the trust that you place in me to interpret and intuit the cards for you. And if anyone is interested in a one-on-one -on -one reading with me and you haven't read with me before, you can click on the little about button on my YouTube channel's homepage, which will give you a little more information and has my email address, which is Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you or uh, with anyone else you send my way if you uh, want to purchase a gift reading for uh, friends, family, or loved ones. I offer a variety of types of readings as well as lengths of time, live or recorded, in addition to 12-month uh, overviews as well. So if you're interested, send me an email and we will go from there. I do readings full time, so I'm able to get back with you pretty quickly. And current turnaround time for readings is anywhere from a couple of days upwards of a couple of weeks, but almost always within two weeks, we can set up a reading for you. So moving right along, let's get into this. This reading is for Leo for February 2017. Fire sign of Leo 2017. What do they need to see? What do they need to know? Leo, Leo the lion, the fire sign of Leo for February 2017. What does the month of February 2017 have in store for the fire sign of Leo? Leo the lion. Okay, Leo, we begin with the five of pentacles in reverse followed by the Seven of Swords in reverse. Next to that, we have the Queen of Wands with the Ten of Cups. The Seven of Wands with the Eight of Wands. And Justice with the Three of Pentacles. Looks like a successful battle in recovering something that was lost or taken from you. From the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and advice is the Ace of Cups. New love or new emotional beginnings. Let's take a look, Leo. Interesting reading. Okay, Leo, let's begin. So we find ourselves around the beginning of February, end of January. I am recording these in the last week of January. We begin with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, followed by the Seven of Swords in reverse. I am continuing to use the Gilded Tarot by artist Cyril Marchetti. So the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Pentacles is earth energy. That's the element that governs pentacles, that earthly tangible world we live in. Typically, this energy manifests in the suit of pentacles as finance, money, property, resources, assets, those things we can see and touch and feel, or tangible results of the efforts we put into something. <clears throat> Five can be a, a number of conflict as well. The Five of Pentacles in the upright position represents uh, insufficiency, lack, um, it can represent a financial insufficiency or, or lack, not having enough money or fear of not having enough money or resources. Uh, on an emotional or spiritual level, it can represent feeling rejected, abandoned, left out in the cold, cut off from a group, um, not fitting in, not belonging, etc. So <clears throat> the beauty of the Five of Wands is that uh, sometimes the advice that accompanies the Five of Pentacles 
sorry, not the five of wands, the five of pentacles is that help is closer than you think it is, or there's a solution answer or help very close by, which is what this light shining out for this couple represents who are kind of shut out uh, outside of this church or cathedral and other child decks sometimes they're represented as being out in the cold or the rain in need somehow and this beautiful light shining through represents that just on the other side of this light is what they need an answer help resources so to reach out and ask for it it's closer than you think uh, or it could just be right in front of you but you're not seeing it because you're only focused on uh, the the lack the insufficiency or the fear now in the reverse position which is how you got this uh, it it represents, it can indicate a, a lot of things depending on the cards that surround and accompany it, but based on that, because it's also paired with the Seven of Swords in reverse, I feel like for, for, for some of you, something was taken from you, um, either by a specific individual, a group of individuals, or a situation. It feels like something was taken from you, which led to this feeling of uh, uh, insufficiency, uh, lack, not having enough. And for some of you, this is going to be a tangible thing. Uh, perhaps actual money was stolen from you. Uh, could represent robbery, theft of some kind, property. Uh, you could have been cheated or swindled out of something, exploited, taken advantage of in some way. Uh, again, for some of you, for some of you, what was taken could be tangible. There's a lot of you watching. Some of you, this may be actual tangible property or money. Um, you perhaps were cheated out of an opportunity for something. For others of you, perhaps a job and career path. Uh, in relationships, perhaps uh, <clears throat> relationships, somebody may have um, taken someone away from you, although there's always a, a sense of mutual energy with that as well. It, it feels like you were robbed. Something was taken from you or you feel like something was taken from you uh, or, or you were exploited or ignorance was taken advantage of in some way that left you feeling uh, cheated, robbed, stolen from, abandoned, rejected out in the cold. Uh, but you're, it feels like you're getting that back, which is why it's showing up in the reverse. Now, it's accompanied by the Seven of Swords in reverse. So here we have air energy, which is the element that governs the suit of swords. This is mental, cerebral, intellectual energy. Swords is all about words, ideas, communication, how we communicate what goes on up here, our belief systems, our perceptions, how we look at things. The Seven of Swords in the upright position represents, can represent theft as well. It is sometimes referred to as the theft card, tangible theft, money, finances, property. Uh, in an emotional or spiritual sense, it can represent feeling uh, uh, taken advantage of, exploited, feeling depleted or drained. Uh, in relationships, this card sometimes comes up when uh, someone, one person is the one that uh, uh, continuously gives and gives and the other person takes and takes but never gives back. So leaving you in a position where you feel like you've been taken from, exploited, drained, taken advantage of, if not actually stolen from in a tangible way. Now you got it in the reverse position. Again, paired with this five of pentacles in reverse, it feels like whatever the specifics that you lost or was taken from you, it looks like you're getting that back in the month of February, or it becomes more clear that you're going to be getting this back, or there's a sense of, of balance, harmony, or justice being restored in a situation, um, whether it's something tangible, whether it's a relationship restored. For some of you, I'm getting reputation restored, um, a situation, something wrong being righted here. Um, and again, it's going to, the specifics are going to play out differently, but fundamental energy, as I like to say, remains the same. There's a sense of restoration and balance being restored. Now, next to that, we have the Queen of Wands, accompanied by the Ten of Cups. So the Queen of Wands, we have fire energy here with the element of the suit of wands, a uh, very dynamic suit, of course, because it's governed by fire. It's uh, forward looking, forward moving. It's a very active, dynamic suit. The energy is creative. It's about creating, manifesting, and building things. Um, change, movement, action, power. Queens and kings represent individuals who've reached the master of their suit. They've progressed and matured and evolved belong beyond the energy of the page and the knight. So they can represent uh, older, more mature, reflective individuals. Um, 
on an intellectual and emotional level, if not actual chronological age. For some of you, this is you. Uh, this is you kind of coming into your own power, being yourself, showing up in your own reading. Fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. For others of you, uh, and again, for those of you for whom this is you, uh, representing you, I feel quite strongly that what's being restored, whether it's actual tangible stuff or a justice being served or a combination of all of those, it it's because of your pursuing it, your unwillingness to back down from it, as you'll see when we progress through the rest of the cards. So for those of you for whom this represents you, uh, it's this energy that you've manifested, this dynamic, assertive, aggressive, not taking no for an answer, not backing down kind of energy, which the queen and king of wands would represent as well. It's showing up as female, but it's a general reading. There's a lot of you watching this. It could be male as well. Um, the queen of wands would represent somebody who is assertive, focused, action-oriented, uh, not one to rest on their laurels for very long, somebody who would pursue this justice almost with a vengeance, uh, somebody who's very dynamic, very magnetic. Uh, if one path doesn't work or something doesn't work, she's very good or he's very good at problem solving, uh, not spending too much time dwelling on it, uh, going after it, getting it done, inspiring other people to kind of delegate and get it done as well. It's a very powerful card, very powerful energy. For others of you, this is going to represent uh, uh, a specific person who's also playing a primary role in this as well. I feel in a positive way. Uh, male or female, who somebody, another fire sign, perhaps Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or somebody who strongly manifests the character traits of the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> now, the Queen of Wands is accompanied by the Ten of Cups. So we have water energy here, which is the element that rules the suit of cups. It's about our emotional landscape, feelings, relationships, love, that kind of heart space. Tens represent the end of a cycle, something coming full circle, a culmination. So the Ten of Cups represents uh, uh, a completion, uh, kind of the completion of emotional fulfillment and contentment. There's a strong connection with home and family with the Ten of Cups as well. Family happiness, family harmony, family balance, a sense of stability, continuity, reassurance. Uh, the Ten of Cups represents kind of being at that place where it feels like everything's finally come together. Um, you know, all the puzzle pieces fitting together, as I'm fond of saying. Uh, all of your emotional cups upright and full and feeling like, uh, again, there's a sense of balance being restored and a, a strong connection with <clears throat> family harmony and unity as well. Some of you, this could be an emotional situation within your family or home structure, your family dynamics. It could be that some relationships, people perhaps were estranged from each other or there's been, there was a, a break in relationships. It's more emotional in nature. There's been, for some of you, this could represent a reconciliation between two people, particularly spouses or long-term partners. There's a reconciliation energy coming back together. Peace, balance, and harmony is being restored in the home again. For those of you for whom this may resonate as more of a relationship, a personal relationship reading, could be close friendships as well. That coming back together, balance being restored. Some of you, I'm getting this, this, this message about what this is, is <clears throat> reputation. Uh, some of you may have been recently gone through some kind of process where you were unfairly uh, slandered or somebody tried to ruin your reputation and uh, like your good name was kind of taken from you or besmirched somehow and uh, somehow that that balance has been that wrong has been righted that balance has been restored um, you've been vindicated some of you uh, some of you have been actually were stolen from, perhaps some of you were, were robbed or uh, cheated out of something in a very tangible, physical kind of way. Um, justice has been served, perhaps you're the person who did it was caught or what was taken from you is being returned. Perhaps you got a, a judgment or a settlement uh, in your favor. Again, the specifics are gonna play out differently because there's so many of you watching, but it's coming back together again for you. and. 
And for those of you for whom I think a lot of you, this really affected your family dynamics or home harmony situation, which it would, of course, that is being restored to and uh, you're feeling yourself again, kind of that empowering coming into your own kind of sense again. And it's because you and perhaps anybody else who stood with you uh, refused to back down. You, you pursued this. You didn't just run away quietly or retreat because next to that you spoke what you had to speak or you stood up for yourself or somebody else too. We have next the seven of wands, which is all about that energy accompanied by the eight of wands. So the seven of wands, uh, more fire energy here. This is primarily a, a defensive card. It's a card. Sometimes it can represent being too defensive and in, in kind of a negative or potentially harmful way. Uh, but here, this is about standing up, standing up for yourself, standing up for somebody else, a combination of the of, of both, perhaps uh, standing standing up for something you believe very strongly in, something you've invested a lot in, whether it's emotional reputation, uh, property, money, etc., whatever this represents for you. There's a sense of, of defending it, of not backing down. Uh, this man is standing in front of the door to his, his home, his castle, his keep, whatever it is that you feel very strongly about, whatever the situation is oriented around. And he's holding up his wand in a defensive gesture because it's being challenged or threatened somehow by these other uh, six wands not in an aggressive attacking way but defending it standing by it refusing to give in refusing to allow uh, whatever this is that means so much to him refusing to allow it to be taken from him without a fight so you've stood your ground and perhaps you've had a partner in there with you helping you. Now the seven of wands is accompanied by the eight of wands. This is a card of communication, information, messages being exchanged. This could also represent information on its way, uh, fast, powerful, profound uh, news, information, communications going back and forth. I feel like for some of you, I, I actually for most of you, I think this is, I'm getting actual speech here that, that whatever this battle was that you refused to kind of give up, there was, there was a lot of verbal exchanges. Again, it feels like you persisted, you persisted, you persisted in seeing this situation righted, righted, is that, is that even a proper word? Uh, balance being restored. You stood up and spoke your truth. You spoke the words that needed to be spoken or you helped somebody else. For some of you, this is going to be somebody else, perhaps a partner or another close relationships, somebody else that you were defending or helping defend themselves. Uh, some of you, again, I'm getting legal. This was a legal situation as well. You kept the communication going. You refused to allow yourself to be silenced or somebody else to be silenced. So good for you. Very powerful energy. Now at or towards the end of February 2017 going into March, we have justice along with the three of pentacles. Justice in the upright. This is justice being served. This is the outcome being fair, regardless of what it is. This is the reap what you sow. Uh, what you put into something is exactly what you're going to get back out of it. Uh, so honor and integrity is very important in here in terms of motives and motivations because it's going to affect the outcome and the results of something. Uh, in the upright position, it represents justice justice being served, the outcome being fair, again, harmony, balance. I feel like you're really coming out on top, Leo, or somebody else that you've been going through this with. For those of you who are still going through this, there, there is a cautionary piece of advice with justice that uh, you that you make sure that everything that you do uh, in your communications uh, are done with the highest level of personal honor and integrity as possible because that's going to also decide and affect the outcome. Now, it's accompanied by the Three of Pentacles, which is a card of compromise. It can be a card of compromise and negotiation, uh, particularly for those of you for whom this is a settlement issue. Uh, you came to an agreement on something. It, it also represents a, can represent a group effort too. Um, 
uh, people coming together and, and, and coming to an agreement, compromise and negotiating to come to a common agreement or for a greater good, a common purpose, people working together, um, even if they have to kind of give a little, take a little here in order to achieve uh, something greater than themselves, a, a, a common purpose. And it could be in terms, for some of you, this could be uh, a, a group effort you were involved in, perhaps a cause that you were working for, someone you were defending. It could be a group of attorneys or a nonprofit uh, organization of some kind working together for a greater good. And that greater good has something to do with defending and speaking up for people who can't, someone or perhaps other people who, who can't do it themselves or have difficulty doing it themselves. Again, uh, the story is going to split off a variety of different ways, but uh, it's very powerful and successful energy and really a message if you're still going in the thick of this to not give up, not giving up and not allowing yourself or anybody else to be silenced is what's going to kind of win the day, honor and integrity and kind of coming to um, getting everybody on the same page to, to achieve this because it's it's, it's about principles here to uh, kind of a greater good. Now your overall energy from the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. This is uh, more emotional energy here, water energy. Aces represent uh, the number one, start, promise, potential, the seeds of something uh, which has a lot of potential. And this is, would be emotional. This can represent new love, new relationships, that's what this could pan out to be for, for those of you. Perhaps that's what you're fighting for. Uh, again, for reconciliation energy, this could be new emotional, uh, new emotional beginnings uh, in, in this reconciliation, this coming back together again. Uh, new emotional beginnings for uh, new emotional beginnings overall for all of you, regardless of what the specifics of the situation is. Uh, and, it, and it looks like it looks like the beginning of something. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this has been, this battle feels like kind of old, like it's something that's been going on for a while, um, varying from time to time in its intensity, something that you've been working on or, f or fighting the struggle, it feels like has been going on for a while. And, and there's a sense with this overall energy of new beginnings. I think some of you are like, I'm getting this feeling like, is it, is it really coming to an end? Is this really going to be over? Can I really start to feel happy again? Starting to feel kind of that first uh, kind of emotional, uh, emotional happiness, the beginnings of it, the seeds of it kind of bubbling up in you. I, I feel like for some of you, this has been going on for so long. It's almost as if, is this really going to be over? Is this, am, am I, can I really be fully happy again? Uh, but the answer is yes, you can. Uh, that's where you're headed. Uh, and that's what you're fighting for as well for yourself or for somebody else or a combination of the two. Because I, I feel like this is splitting off a, a, a whole bunch of different ways. Uh, and, I, and I'm getting this cause, nonprofit or cause, legal, some kind of battle too. So for those of you for whom that resonates, write and let me know what that's about. Pretty powerful reading. Justice, balance, harmony, something being righted something which was flipped upside down, something which was taken being restored, or at least justice being served around it. Really powerful reading. And it, and it looks like overall, particularly as it's drawing to a close and going into March, you're really starting to feel there, there's that sense of renewed hope and optimism again, new beginnings again on an emotional level as well. So Leo, I hope you en have enjoyed this reading or at least have found it useful or helpful in some way because that's why we do them. Uh, again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. I would be very happy to work with you. And I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the February 2017 mid-month readings. And until then, Leo, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.